What's going on guys? Here we go. Game 3 of the Sniper Commentator Tournament. It's about to go down. We've seen a lot of action so far. So what you think about the tournament, Lefty? I'm having a great time. I'm having a great time. Watch it unfold. Watch the, the pageantry and the stories within the stories unfold. It's, a, it's been a great time. Yeah, this is, a, this is a really good idea, man. I think uh, I'm going to do more for sure. I mean, it looks like everybody's enjoying it. I'm enjoying it. You're enjoying it. And I hope the viewers are enjoying it. So here we go. We're about to kick it off. Who are we going to start with? Uh, I'm going to start with my boy Jesus at work. All right, let's go with, let's go with Jesus at work. He's another uh, pretty big search and destroy player, and he's also um, with a couple other guys, directors at our community channel, Snipers RS. If uh, you want to get your gameplay showcased, if you're uh, having a tough time getting views, Hit up the channel and uh, submit us your gameplay, and we'll upload it for you. So that's just a little, um, you know. And we saw a gullible Gary there dominating the kill feed with a two-piece, and then uh, got to finish off the three-piece later, and then another kill feed leading the leading the game with f at 506. Six and oh, I'm about to go to gullible Gary and see. Yeah. Oh, well, he's just getting see taken he's out. Doing. He's just getting taken out, but I'm gonna stay on board with him for a little while. And um, there he goes, gets a nice little headshot on uh, what a Royale right there. Mm-hmm. And as we saw, this is kind of a map unlike Summit where uh, in game two we didn't see a lot of kill feed dominating. But if you know how to play firing range, Blaine, as, as somebody like you does, you're going to see a lot of kill feed dominating. And we, we expect, to, or at least I do, I expect to see a good amount of that uh, in this game. Yep. Um, they just better whore out that Jeep right there because that's, that's the spot. I, I'd say the Jeep is the, is the spot to go. And, uh, and just head glitch, head glitch that Jeep and watch down firing range and watch the people come in uh, behind white trailer and, and all day you just you just pick people off. Oh. Right, we can see Macau, or Macau uh, <laughs> getting a nice little feed there, Macau. Yeah. However you say, these guys have crazy names. <laughs> but a gullible gear leading 8, 11 to 4, Macau following wow. I guess 11 to 5 now tied for the lead. Jesus at work, 7 to 5 he's in third place tied with the McCown who is two barring on a foreign on a foreign connection. Uh, he is 7 and 9 followed by Bala 24 6 and 5, 2 Silk at 5 and 9 over Roy Al at 4 and 8 and Demon with 3 and 9. Demon what what do you think is happening with Demon? I, I don't right know. It looks like uh he might be choking a little bit cuz we just had a little minute warm up and he was in first place with like 10 kills over everybody. So I guess uh, he had a nice little no scope there. I guess when, uh, he, <laughs> you know, when the game's on the line, uh, he might be choking a little bit. Let's see. It's like you said, there was a marathon. It's not a sprint. Uh, so it's a game to 50 kills. So um, he definitely still has enough time to, to catch back up and get into the top three. Yeah, we're over a fifth of the way through the game. Um, Macau again leading, followed by a gullible Gary with Jesus at work. Only the top three advance, so we're going to be talking about the top three and the race to the top three, really. It doesn't matter if you're first or second or third. You're moving on uh, to the next round. But, Blaine, we talked about this last time or, or during the last game. You're the kind of guy where you want to win. Even though, even though the top three spots, if you were in this, if you were in this game, even though the top three advance, you want to go. Definitely. You want to you advance. You want to win. And it, do you think... Do you think that, that that could hurt you at all? Do you think that that could be a disadvantage or something could go wrong? I don't think if so. If you're trying to do that? I, I don't think so. I mean, you always want to go for uh, for the W. You always go for the first place spot. And, uh, you know, in, in a game like this, if you do fall short of the first place spots, you still have um, a couple opportunities to, to make it to the next round and, uh, you know, maybe pick your game up there. But um, but these guys, they're pretty beast, and uh, they're they have some competition though. They have some they have huge competition in uh, the next game. So um, this this game isn't anything right here. I mean, if, if the, the guys that are struggling in this game, they definitely would be struggling in the, na the next game. So um, you know, we're gonna see. We look like Gullible Gary is uh, breaking away from the pack right now, and there's a, a tough tough fight for second and third place between Jesus Maku and Macowan. Is how I'm gonna pronounce his name. Uh, and, uh, <laughs> See, we still can't do it. <laughs> but uh, we're trying for how long, and we can't do but it. These two guys that are battling, uh, McCowan and McCoo, they're they're on uh well, the McCowan's on the two bar connection, and uh, he's in second place. So that's pretty impressive. I'm I'm definitely uh about to switch over to him and uh you know see if I can uh see what he's doing right. Yeah, and you know my boy Jesus at work, also in the fray, also in the discussion. I mean, in second place now, in between the McCown and, and a gullible Gary. Uh, Jesus is one of those guys who's just really good at kind of every facet of sniping. 
Right. And playing with him, he's one of those guys where he can he can trick shot if he wants to. He can no scope. He can he can oh, snipe. Man. He can snipe very well in search and destroy. But he can also run around in domination and free for all and quick scope and and do all these he's things. Very versatile. So he's very much the everyman. Right. He's the everyman sniper. He can do a whole lot. Do you try to be like that, Blaine? I mean, obviously, uh, you're you're the the front runner or the the forerunner in this kind of business. Is that what you try to be? Kind of an everyman. Like I can do this. I can also do right. that. And I mean. I love uh, playing objective, like objective games, you know, captain flags. I mean, nothing, it's almost Ooh. nothing's more satisfying than, uh, you know, getting a, a triple feed on three guys using the FAMAS while you're capping the flag. So I like mm -hmm. to be right up in the action. That's why I use the perks, flag jacket and tactical mask pro, so I can be right up in the action, right in the middle, capping B and, and just pissing people off. That's that's my type of game, but you know, playing with you guys in Search and Destroy, I'm I'm not a great Search and Destroy player because you need patience to play Search and Destroy, and I'm not I'm not a guy with too much patience. I wanna if I see a guy, I'm gonna I'm gonna chase him. I, I chase too much for Search, but um, I still love it. I still love the um, the aspect of the of the bomb and, and everything in, in Search. So yeah, I definitely consider myself a, a versatile sniper, and um, I think that's the way you gotta be. That's the that's the most fun, just to uh, to get the biggest bang for your buck, so to speak. Mm -hmm. Now we are over, or we are past the halfway point in the game. The McCown has taken over first place at 30 and 23. He is leading the pack on a two-bar connection. Remember that he's on a two-bar. Jesus at work is at 29 kills. A gullible Gary at 27. Maku is at 26. Two Silk at 25. And rounding out the 20 kill marks, we have Ball at 24. So there's there's definitely a chance. Again, there's still a lot of game left. And people are going to start making their moves. You're going to have to start doing that. You're going to have to start making the play for the uh, for the top three, understanding who's ahead of you, what you need, and how you're going to go about getting it. I think we, and and it should be a great race. I think we need to watch out for uh, Too Sick. I've actually seen I've actually seen a couple of games with Too Sick, and he's actually a beast. I'm actually surprised he's not uh, he's not higher up on the leaderboard right now. But I do make a prediction that Too Sick is going to come back and make it into the top three. That's a prediction. Can we write that down? That's, too sick. Blaine is saying now at the 33 kill mark to watch out for Too Sick that he's going to climb out uh, of his current fourth spot on the leaderboard and climb into the top three. There he goes. He tied uh, third place. There he goes. There, there he goes. I'm Jesus at work has just taken over the, the top spot with 34 kills. He's at 34 and 29. A gullible Gary at 33 and 26. And the McCown, at, or the McCown at 33 and 31, followed by Too Sick at 32. So you're right. He's making a move. Uh, definitely separating himself. The, the top four spots on the leaderboard. And he just right hit five kills after himself. that spawn. So look at him. First <laughs> place. What did, what did I say, man? Is this a live you, match or what? Or did or do we watch this game already? And <laughs> and I'm just I'm just you know. No, we're just really good actors. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> that's what we're saying. <laughs> yeah. No, this is a live game, folks. We we do not know what's gonna happen, and uh, that's that's why the suspense is uh you know. It's too sick. I guess that's why they call him too sick. Yeah. This dude, dude's just too sick. Don't don't count him out. I mean, it it always amazes me. Look at this. Uh, he's going on a run right here. Are you watching yeah, he's, this kid? He's, Taking your advice, going to the head camp at the Jeep, and and is moving on. I mean, 39 kills taken over the top spot, followed by Jesus at work at 38, and a gullible Gary at 35. Followed closely, gullible Gary is by Macau with 34, and the Macau at 33. Ooh, right. That that Jeep spot, you said it first. You made two predictions. That's, that Jeep spot is going to play a pivotal role. Uh, the head camp there and just being able to see people coming from both spawns on either side Definitely. of the map. And the two six. There you go. Look at him. Look, that was an amazing two feeds. Almost failed on the three feed, but still, the two feed was amazing. And that's one thing I love. I don't know about you, but when you just get that, the the you kill the one guy in front of you, and then you spin and immediately kill the guy behind you, or just get just that off. kind of pirouette. Oh. It's, I, I I think it's amazing. But Tuso definitely making use of the jeep he, jeep head camp, checking on both spawns now as too sick as he's 46 kills, he's leading the pack by a large margin, uh, first player to 50 will probably be, probably be him, Jesus at work is at 41 and a gullible Gary at 38, followed closely by Macau, who actually is tied for the spot in the Macau at 36 And I've seen it. so this is going to be a close race I've seen a couple of times where, uh, you can't knife in this game, and I've seen a couple of times where 
uh, your reactions want to take over and the guy's right in your face, I mean, the only thing you could do is, is hit that thumbstick to knife. And if you do, you're disqualified. So, you know, you really have to restrain yourself from doing that. And that's that's a hard thing. I probably would have failed. I probably would be disqualified because just my, my senses <laughs> just automatically want to click that stick. And there we go. Uh -huh. That's the end. What I say? You you called it too sick is definitely is living up to his name coming over to take the top spot, fifty kills and thirty three deaths a one point five two k to d by far the best in this lobby. Uh, Mr. Jesus at work is going to move on as well. He had forty two kills and Macau at forty one. Yes, coming back coming out from I believe he was the fourth or fifth spot uh, not too long ago. Forty one kills. He is going to take the third spot and move uh, one on. One kill. But all right, we're moving on to the semifinals. Is it? Or the quarter. I guess it would be the quarterfinals. No, yeah, that maybe. would be the semifinals. Yeah, well, uh, and then the one v one is the finals. Pretty much, but uh, all right, guys, we'll holler at y'all later. All right, peace. peace.